Okay, today's lesson about PAX is about our Agfa Enterprise Imaging Workflow and the different desktops that are used. When you log in, you have a choice of several different desktops to choose from, and each desktop is really specific to a role within the organization, within the radiology department. So each desktop, because it really maps to a role, it has particular functions. And so the desktops we're going to talk about are the MedSec, or Medical Secretary Desktop, the Acquisition Desktop. In the version you will see in lab, the Technologist Desktop has been renamed the Acquisition Desktop. The Diagnostic Desktop, which is really meant for radiologists, the clinician desktop, which is meant for physicians other than radiologists that are just reviewing images, and the administrator desktop for PAX admins to do system configuration. So the primary function of the MedSec desktop is the exam ordering process. The acquisition desktop is for procedure steps and exam completion. The diagnostic desktop is for reporting and sign-off. The clinician desktop is for image and report viewing and the administrator desktop is for system configuration. So this is the medical secretary desktop. Once you log in, this is what it looks like. And the acquisition desktop looks very similar to this. And so here you will have an activities bar where you can just click on these buttons and you'll have different activities that you need to complete based on your role. If you need to start a new order or create a new patient, you always want to look for the new button. There's always a new button when you start a new task. So I just want to back up. These are for tasks that have been started by you or somebody else. They're in progress tasks that need to be completed. New, starting a new task. When you go to create a new patient, you have two sections. You have the patient info section here and you have the order info section here. The patient info section contains all the information about the patient. The order info section contains all the information about the order. So if the patient already exists in the system and you're not creating a new patient but you're creating a new order, you can just use this button to select a new patient and put the patient information here they already exist here you can just select them from there in the medical secretary desktop when you go to put in orders you'll have these boxes you'll want to fill in the procedure name the procedure code the department that's how you choose a procedure if you need to scan an order in or scan a report in switch this tab from the order info to the scanned order portion and this once you have your paper in the scanner you click that and it will process the paper through the scanner this is the navigation toolbar in the acquisition desktop so when you log into the acquisition desktop you'll come to this screen and you'll have again all your tasks down here that are assigned and based on what box you're looking in like this is on the to do box you get these results here but these are the most important buttons okay so this will little green plus if you can see it will allow you to open and close this navigator bar search will allow you to search for a patient calendar will take you to the calendar and list area will take you to a predetermined set of lists this toolbar is your task toolbar once you're in here, you can begin an acquisition. You can do other things, cancel the acquisition, check off that step in the acquisition to launch images, right? So you see that this row is highlighted, CT abdomen, right? If you wanted to open those images, you would click on the images button and that will open the images. So in the test technologist taskbar, again, you have the start the task, the finish the task, pause the task, reset the task, cancel the task. Here you have go to the details tab, go to the images, open the entire list section here, and then under more you have a bunch of things that are used a lot less frequently, so they're all under that drop down menu. 
there's not going to be a test on this. This is just for your education, just to get you familiar with how to move around and navigate. So you, when you see it in the lab, it won't be the first time you've ever seen this look and layout. This is the to-do section of the acquisition desktop role. Click on these different buttons and it will bring up the, the list of QC tasks. Click that, you get the QC task list. Unread studies from yesterday, you click that, that's what you get. Click on the calendar, you can go to the calendar, you can view different rooms and see which rooms, you know, have different studies booked in them at what time. This is the diagnostic desktop or radiologist desktop, and you can instantly recognize this because the GUI looks very different. For example, you have these black backgrounds, right? The list looks different. You have the deep purple and the grays and the blacks compared to the acquisition desktop, right? So the acquisition desktop has a white and a blue. And frequently, I will just walk up to student screens and go, you're logged into the wrong desktop. And they're like, how does he know? It's not magic. It looks differently. It literally looks different with the black background and the purple bars. I'm like, oh, you're in the diagnostic desktop. So it's for the radiologist to do their work. And again, it has a different GUI and a different set of lists and a different set of tasks. Right? So again, you have the standard navigator with to do tasks, and they're related to radiologist work. You've got sign off tasks, high priority tasks, reading tasks. Okay? You have the standard navigation bar with collapse, expand the navigator section, search for patients, and these other functions. You also have this toolbar which allows you, if you are the radiologist when reading, to open just the text section, open just the list section to do a search for whatever you want to search, or open a browser if that permission is turned on so that you can maybe go look up some information about a particular disease or illness that you might be interested in or looking at. Then you have the task toolbar. allows you to do different things with the reports. You can send it to the transcriptionist to be reviewed, other things like that. The navigation toolbar we talked about already. It's just here you have the navigation toolbar with images up. So this is the image window. If you look back here, you have the navigation toolbar with the list area up. So you have the report here, the patient information and the report section, which is here. It's the same toolbar. It just appears with both the images and the list section. Okay. You have the task toolbar holds all the tools related to the workflow required for the study, reporting, things like that. Now you have the clinician desktop. And this is kind of a scaled down version. It doesn't have all the features that all the other roles and desktops do. It's a little simpler. And it goes back to the white and blue look. It's basically just for clinicians to look up their patients find their images and their reports, right? So you have the tree view. Okay, so important, this is a clinician view. This is the administrator desktop. This is where the PACS admins go. And here you basically have two, two ways of looking at data. You got, you've got the tree view, and you can expand on these pluses to go into different things. If you are interested in something, a problem with the reporting desktop, you might want to expand the reporting area here. If you are interested in what devices are connected to the packs, you might want to go under devices. So tree view in the navigator for admins. And you have basically all of the same choices, interoperability, devices, image management, just here where you can just, in a folder view, where you can just click on the folder and then go under the folder. And so you can't view images in the admin desktop. You can't really do the work of a technologist or radiologist or a medical secretary. It's all about configuration. So that is a quick overview of the different desktops and the roles and some of the functions within AGFA Enterprise Imaging.
Thank you for watching.